Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, it is 4th of July, you know, we do two shows a day, every day, Monday through Saturday, but only one on Sunday, so this is the one show today. Uh, it's a good one, Eddie Hearn mouths off, uh, has some words for Big Charlo. I want to get into that, but before we do, please like and subscribe. Uh, follow us on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, please share this across all platforms. Uh, also subscribe to our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, brand new channel, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing, where all uh, proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. So um, Eddie Hearn and uh, Jamal Charlo have gone back and forth on several, or several times uh, 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 on who they want to fight. You know, uh, Eddie Hearn has made offers to him. I don't know how serious, how legitimate they are. But uh, honestly, it, I, I thought they seemed to kind of like each other, right? Like they amuse each other. Uh, they both talk really well. Like they're both good salesmen. Um, they're both entertaining. Um, but this is um, Eddie Hearn. I'm going to read this to you. Jamal Charlo needs to be careful about becoming complacent. May end up like Crawford. Okay. So make the Canelo fight. Canelo, let's, Canelo said his name. After the plant, make the Canelo fight. I mean, why are you worried about someone else's fighter? This, this to me, always seems ridiculous. Why is Eddie Hearn concerned about someone else's fighter? Jamal Charlo, he, he doesn't work for Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo's never been signed to him. Like, either make him an offer, put a contract in front of him to sign, or, or, or like, how is this, like, your concern? Like, you don't see this in other sports, right? You you, you don't hear Joe Sy, the owner of the Brooklyn Nets, um, saying the Phoenix Suns got lucky because everyone they played um, lost the star. In the playoffs. Right? Like, I mean, this stuff doesn't happen. You don't hear Mark Cuban coming out and saying uh, Kawhi Leonard should have played or, or Kawhi Leonard. Like, it, this doesn't happen. Right? So, my, like my, what I'm saying here is why is Eddie Hearn concerned about Jamal Charlo when Eddie Hearn has problems with his own fighter? You know, you, you want to put <laughs> Jamal Charlo's resume against your middleweight? Um, Demetrius Andre, yo, Demetrius Andre has been a champ for eight years. His best win is Willie Nelson, William Williams, who he struggled with, right? Like, 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 check this out. Eddie Hearn said that uh, Montiel, who Charlo just beat, and Montiel had some moments, is a uh, not an elite level fighter. Montiel beats Liam Williams ten times out of ten. Like Montiel. Knocked out James Kirkland in one round. Like, you, like, just because you weren't paying attention doesn't mean Montiel's not good. I said it on, on this show. I said it on MCR Podcast. I said Montiel's legitimate. He's a good fighter. Like, just because you didn't pay attention to him doesn't mean he's not good. Like, <laughs> honestly, Montiel has a resume comparable to Andre. Andre's been a champion. Yes, Montiel's got some losses. Montiel's been a pro in Mexico since he's a kid, and he's got a bunch of losses. I got it. Understood. Um, he's got one, He got a first-round knockout over James Kirkland and a draw in which most people thought he won against Hugo Centennial in the last year and a half. What does your guy, Andre, have? 
My tail is better than anyone Andre's fought. It really, like I, I said this. I said Matiel is slow and he looks a little sloppy. He's not bad. He keeps coming forward. He has a little bit of skill for a guy who's big and slow, but he's a pressure fighter that keeps coming at you. He's not an easy fight. Montiel can beat a lot of guys, and he's got real power for a guy that throws in combination like that. Who does Andre beat? Luke Keeler? Come on. Like, why is he not worried about his own fighter? Like, they're both getting up at age. No, your guy's getting up. Uh, I, I get it, Eddie. I get it. Right? Like, boxers have short careers, right? They're not like accountants. They don't work till they're 60. Uh, I get it, okay? Andre's 33. He's been a champion for eight years. His best win is Willie Nelson. Vance Motorosian? Years ago. What, you, let's go through the last couple names on his resume. Since he saw him with Eddie Hearn. Liam Williams. Luke Keeler. Zaliski. Okay. Atur Akavov and Walter Kotendakwa, Walter from Breaking Bad. Those are the names that you've put him in the ring with since he signed with you. And you're going to say things about Jamal Charlo? I, how, like, how are you that tone deaf? Like, if I'm Andre, I'm like, why are you over there worrying about Jamal Charlo and you can't get me a fight? Really? Like, if I'm Demetrius Andre, I can work with someone else. I can sign with someone else. I, I don't need you. You didn't get me to Canelo fight. You didn't get me to Triple G fight. And you didn't get me to Billy Joe fight because I fell through. What What are you doing? I, I thought you were the most powerful promoter in the world. How come you can't get me any fight? <laughs> but then but then Eddie Hearn is going to say something. About Jamal Chala. Jamal Chala is going to be irrelevant like Terrence Crawford. What about your guy? Why are you, like, worrying about someone else's fight who has nothing to do with you? When you can't get your own guy a fight. Whenever a promoter talks about a fighter that's not his own fighter that he doesn't work with, it's either pure je it's pure jealousy. There's no other, That's it. It's pure jealousy. You want Jamal Chala. Because Jamal Chala could be, triple, could be Triple G. He could be Andre. And that's the truth of the matter. Look, look, Jamal Charles' resume is not great. It's not Jamal Charles at 154. Uh, Jamal Charles got some wins. I wish he fought better names. I do. You're not his promoter. And you don't get fights for your own fighters. So what are you talking about? Who does Triple G fight? Zamarta? Steve Rolls? Like, what do you do? Yo, Triple G. Like, it was an HBO's poster boy, their golden child, when he beat names comparable to what Jamal Charles was beating. When you talk about someone else's fighter, and you can't take care of your own fighter, you can't get fight fights for your own fighter, in your own stable, like, you've lost your mind. Worry about yourself. Why Andre stays with you and doesn't sue you, I don't understand. You failed him miserably, but then you want to spend your time talking about Jamal Chala. It, it, it's like the little high school girl that says, her boyfriend cheats on her. Her boyfriend cheats on you. Or your boyfriend's cheating on you right in front of your face. It's like, worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. The best win he has is Willie Nelson. Come on. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, since, since, <laughs> I'm going to put the link to the article uh, in the description. Um, I, I think Eddie Hearn sounds like an angry, jealous schoolgirl in the cafeteria who's upset that the boys she liked don't like her back. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, two shows a day. Only one on Sunday, though. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with two shows. Um, please also subscribe and share our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to uh, Autism Research and Recovery, so it's near and dear to our heart. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.